with the sea nearby, Maremma has a typical Mediterranean climate. The sun and the sea breeze ensure an optimal ripening of the grapes. The most important local wine is Morellino di Scansano DOCG. In 1972, the wine cooperative Vignaioli del Morellino di Scansano was founded, whose mission is to produce high-quality wine. Its members include up to 150 families who bring the fruit of their labor to the wine cooperative. Behind these families stands Alessandro Fiorini, an agronomist of the wine cooperative Vignaioli del Morellino di Scansano. His job is to select the land and the grapes and to know exactly when it's the right time to harvest the grapes. So these 150 families have a judge. Uh, Alessandro turns up at the vineyards, checks them. More or less. More or less. And decides whether it's the right time to harvest. I go through the vineyards and see how they are and to see what they can tell me. And what does this vine tell you? It tells me that it has grown very well. The leaves are very healthy. Do you see this, Aona? The cluster is nearly perfect. Perfect? Why? Look at it. So the grape isn't excessively big, which means there's an excellent proportion of skin and flesh, more in favour of the skin, a nice colour, and the stalk has started to brown. Can I try a grape? Of course, absolutely, you have to. Let's try one. Mm. You're right, it really is very well balanced. You see? Nothing is overpowering, the flavours are perfectly balanced. How important is the skin? The skin is very important. The skin is maybe even more important than the flesh. There's water in the flesh and sugar, which obviously makes up, let's say, the majority of the wine. But all the aromas, all the essences, all the warmth of the grape, all that comes from the skin. When people on holiday come to Maremma and visit this magnificent region, what do they find? Visitors not only have the chance to see the winery, but also to discover everything that makes the winery what it is, the vineyards and all those involved in winemaking. Tourists coming to the area can go on a wine and food tour, follow a cultural route, or go to the coast, which is beautiful and only a 10 minute drive away. There are several archeological sites nearby, such as Ghiaccio Forte, the ancient city of Corsa near Sant'Andrea, and various museums. My job is fantastic. I always say it's the best job in the world because we're always outdoors and that's very important and because it's a wonderful region. The wine cooperative Vigna Ioli di Scanzano as early as 80s has aimed to focus on quality and selling their bottled product on promoting the region and doing so. It doesn't just concentrate on the quality of what's in the bottle, but also on how it's produced, the land, on respecting the members, those who work the grapes, those who make the wine at the winery and sell it to the final consumer. For checking the quality of the vineyards, we use drones to fly over the vineyards and check the quality of the leaves and the grapes. This provides us with important data we can use to ensure a final product of optimum quality. Morellino di Scansano is exported to countries all over the world. Europe is our main market, but we also export to Japan, the United States, Brazil, Northern Europe, and also to emerging countries such as Korea, Japan, and China. Scansano has been a winemaking region for millennia. Amongst the Etruscan artifacts found in Ghiaccio Forte, there's evidence that they already cultivated grapevines here back then. It even seems that Scansano was one of the six places in Europe where Vitis Selvatica became Vitis vinifera. So here's the wine resting in oak barrels. Yes, the wine ages as it rests. It ages while it rests, so something happens. Yes, it changes. As it ages, the tannins are refined and the wine acquires a texture which is rounder and smoother, something which a young doesn't have. Can we open it? Yes, let's open it. This is something that only the enologist and the cellarman get to do. This is called the thief. Yes, Why? the thief. Yes, it steals the wine. Because it steals the wine? Here it is. The Salomon and the Enologist take a sample. Taste it. Shall I? Mm hmm. Shall I try it? Like this? Yes, like, like that. Like this? Uh huh. And the Salomon and the Enologist decide how long the wine needs to age and when it's ready to be sold. But there are guidelines to respect for more Of course. It has to be aged for at least 24 months. The winery is open to the public. It's great to have tourists come and have people visit who want to understand more about Morellino di Scansano wine, how it's made and what procedures we use.